AFK Discussions starts now. <laughs> Phil, do you want to do the intro? Because the last last time I uh, just jumped in there and started doing it and it looked like you were going to start. So it's up to you. Do you want to? Sure. Uh, welcome to another edition of AFK Discussions. This is your introducer, Phil. I am here with the host, Jason. We have a lot of things we're going to be talking about. That's you. Yeah. Did you know that was you or just finding this out now? <laughs> I did not. Oh, know. my God. I'm Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, today we have a lot to talk about. Obviously, the month of madness continues for me on my side and exploring with Phil oh, seven days into going to the Huckamuck Swamp every single day. Jason, we're going to be talking about, uh, Jason wanted to talk about celebrities and celebrity lookalikes and sort of this newfound thing recently, you know, whether it's Britney Spears, Kanye West, uh, a myriad of other people that people are claiming that these people have been replaced um you know especially the britney spears as that's been going on for a few years now so yeah a lot of those things that jason wanted to get into so we're going to be talking about all those things but before we get into those things jason how are you tonight how's your week what's going on this week has been crazy you know this past week was um july 4th which was uh awesome did you have a good fourth mm -hmm. yeah we had a family cookout at home uh you know hot dogs burgers, all that kind of stuff, you know, the normal things that everyone does during the 4th of July. It was very good. What about you guys? Yeah, same thing. Uh, family cookout. Yep. Um, just, you know, just had fun and, you know, went over to my brother-in-law's and did some hamburgers and hot dogs and all that good stuff. Nice. Awesome. Very good. That's always good. I mean, that's, I mean, it sounds boring, but that's what everyone does during the 4th of July. And yeah. it, it is, it is an awesome time. I love the holiday. It's a great time to be outside. Hopefully, um, we have like one great day outdoors. I don't know if you guys had some out good outdoor days, but the 4th of July was the best out of all the days. Other than that, every other day was cloudy, muggy, disgusting, rained. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all you can wish for, you know, just a good time with your family, some fireworks, hopefully. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much about all you can ask for. Yeah, definitely. So we actually went, uh, my, my brother-in-law lives um, kind of close to Oak Ridge. And, you know, most people know Oak Ridge as the secret city or the city of strangeness or the new Hadron Collider that's over there. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're, um, you know, opening portals and letting um, Bigfoot through. Who knows? But yeah, so <laughs> Oak Ridge is a weird place. But we watched fireworks in Oak Ridge. Nothing weird happened. Just just the fireworks. But yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Now, how are they over there? Are they... Uh, they, they, they do them off the side of a mountain like how does that work in tennessee because oh, where we are a lot of the times if you live by the ocean they do them from the ocean or something like that or you know but uh, from in tennessee like how does that work um just like a park it's like oh, where okay. the city hall is they have like a city hall and library and they just shot them out there there's like a big park area so okay okay is actually the park is kind of cool so they had um like whenever um the truce between um the US and Japan after you know the bomb was dropped and everything in World War II, there's actually a um a bell from Japan, like you know, those big ancient Japanese bells um that you see in movies and stuff. Well, that's there's one of those that was sent over here. Um, to Oak Ridge because you know that's that's where they make the bomb and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but yeah, they have like this memorial thing there. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, but they shot cool. shot yeah. right there. <laughs> nice, I love it. Yeah, um, but yeah, this last week was kind of crazy. Also, um, uh, some people who are on Instagram probably already saw pictures, but I um, 
I was over at uh, Merkel Media Studios and um, I had like a business meeting there. And um, so it was interesting. Tony's like, hey, do you want to sit in on this interview? And I was like, yeah, sure. Guys, you got to check out the interview when it drops. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, Usually they're a couple of weeks behind, like when they record, they release, you know, a few weeks out. It was, uh, it was very strange. (laughs) to say the least. Um, and after the episode comes out, I will talk about my experience that happened, but it, it, it definitely was weird, a weird one. So to say the least, I'm still kind of shooken up about it, I guess a little bit. Um, yeah. And, uh, I think you could say this much. It, it reminded you of something else you have gone through before. Oh I yeah. Think that's, I think that's why it kind of hits hard it's home to you because it's like well i've experienced something like this before or the, at least those same feelings we'll say yeah yeah um definitely. you know and then i think that's a that's a good tease right there to uh let people come back next week to hear your side of the story about what happened because um i heard it off here i think it's definitely interesting especially the correlations and stuff but you have to wait till that episode comes out obviously in the confessionals podcast you guys can check that out when that comes out when will that episode be out this week um like i said i don't know um some it depends on the episode like if it's really because it kind of ties in with another episode that recently he put out so um i don't know if he'll put it out this week or you know sometimes you know they they save stuff for a couple of weeks and then they put it out it just depends you know they got a backlog they go through because you right. know, like we gotcha. record once a week they record you know twice or three times a week so gotcha yep um, but so I was going to say, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I lost my, my thought for a second. So how has the Huckamuck Swamp been treating you? The Huckamuck Swamp's been very interesting. So day one, I've, I've gone over all the footage again, almost, almost all the footage. I'm almost to day seven, which was today. Mm-hmm. Um, so day one was probably by far the most active out of all the days. Day one, a couple EVPs. I heard a disembodied voice with my own ears. Caught that on EVP. Um, that that video, of, I'm going to think I'm going to do every week. I'm going to try to do like a wrap up video of what happens. And so all of this will be in there hopefully by tomorrow, maybe Tuesday at the latest by the time I get it out. Um, so, yeah, it's been it's been interesting, man. It's been really cool going there every single day, different parts of the swamp. Some days it's really quiet. Other days are more active than others. So that's kind of interesting day to day how that goes. Um, so overall, i got some interesting evidence so far. Um, I would say that the, the no, there are two things that stick out to me the most, as far as like brand new things that I could talk about would be number one asked about Moshup, which I asked, I've asked about Moshup before. If anyone doesn't remember Moshup, I've told, I talked about it before, but Moshup is a giant from Wampanoag legend, former giant. And so there's a lot of confusion as far as with his legend, as far as his end, whether he gets killed by Pukwudgies, whether he just walks into an ocean before the Europeans get here. There's like a lot of confusion of what happened to him or the, how the legend goes. There's a couple different versions of the story. So I kind of ask about that, talking about that in the spirit box. And then um, I, I ask if, you know, Mashup is still around. And, uh, and that's and that's what the response says. He's here or he's around. He's or he's around here. You know what I mean? Something like that. I can't remember exactly the exact wording, but basically saying that he was here, he was around still, um, which was, that was awesome. And then today I have not gone over the evidence, but today with our own ears, Nicole and I were asking about granny squant, which is a, a like a female. Now this is where it gets confusing. I don't know if it, the female, it's like a, the, the wife of Mashup or like some sort of female deity kind of a thing in Wampanoag lore. Um, cause I haven't really done a lot of research in Granny Squint, so I, I don't have that much knowledge about like, a, as far as the history, but I do know that they would leave food for her in the woods, kind of like the little people. So that's kind of a similarity. Um, and they would, you know, she would bless them and that kind of thing. And so we, we caught a laugh. Uh, we heard a laugh out there. I don't know if we caught it on camera or not, but we heard a laugh with our own ears out there. And then shortly after that, we get the word bank response laugh. Um, so the granny squint and I think the mosh are the two most interesting things so far. Plus obviously the EVPs and all that stuff. So, but one weekend month of madness. Um, yeah, dude, crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah. That, that seems crazy. 
And all I've got to say is if he's still there, then, you know, that's that, that Nephilim spirits, man. Yeah. Right. That's exactly it. Especially considering he's a giant. Yeah. You know, so like it's in the very fact, if you, with their lore, you got the puck wedgies, which are these little deities, little entities. And then the giant, you know, where the giant is like in control of them kind of a thing. You know, it's very strange, like how that all works. So um, at the very least, there seems to be the disembodied spirit of Mosh up there. I, I don't actually believe there's the, his, the giant still there. You know what I mean? Physically still there. Um, like, I don't, I don't, I don't see any evidence of that, but I mean, that would be, <laughs> that would be uh, absolutely insane. That would be like the, the redheaded giants of Kandahar or whatever that story yeah. is. Um, yeah. It would be like the, I mean, it's Hakamuk Swap. Nothing would surprise me, but the way Mashup is described, he was described very, very tall. So I, I, I highly doubt uh, the physical Mashup is still around. But, um, but you never know. But you never know, and at the very least, it's definitely his disembodied spirit. Yeah, which is interesting. Very, very, especially you get you start getting into biblical stuff, like things like Joel talks about. Um, just food for thoughts, stuff to think about. One weekend. Uh, can't wait to see what the rest of the month brings. Yeah. Oh, guys, we forgot to plug our sponsor. I just oh. Yeah, yep. so uh, check out fattack.com for all your tactical needs, big or small. They have you covered from head to toe. Literally. They have shoes now. I'm not kidding. They have fat tech flip-flops and like sandals, and it's it's pretty cool. So uh, Can we get the AFK logo on those flip-flops? We can, yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay good to know i'll be rocking those uh labor day yep i'll have to <laughs> have to talk to josh and see if he can hook that up so yeah i will totally buy some yeah if that's the case um let's see also you talked about um our good 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 friend mr why can I? <laughs> joel <laughs> mr joel thomas yeah, so um, from kill the rabbits, we all know. Free the rabbits, not kill the rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that still might be one of my favorite yeah. moments from the from the show ever. Yeah. <laughs> so um he released an episode this week, which you guys need to check out. It's about Project Blue Beam. Oh, cool. And, uh yeah, it, it's 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 really cool. I don't want to spoil anything, but definitely definitely go check that out. That's awesome. Oh, since we're giving plugs. I want to give a, pl a big plug to Truth, uh, the Truth Tank. Podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, Truth Tank, dude. He he's always, he's always, always reposting my exploring with Phil stuff. Always reposting the AFK stuff. So, and I, I've told, I've talked to him, I talked to him all the time, um, off air. Um, we got trying to get him on the show. He lives in Australia, so we were literally trying to figure out. Like I was like, all right, we record on Sundays at seven, and I'll, but I, I was like, but well, I don't really know what time that is for him. Like, I don't know if that's Saturday or if that, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. if Monday, really? I don't, I have no idea. So I think it's been, I think that's it's been a struggle. I think it's Monday. I think it's a, it's ahead. ahead. So yeah. it would, it would have to be like, Monday. so we'll have, we have to figure that that's been the hardest part is trying to figure out a time to like record with him. That's like not going to be super early or late for us or not super early or late for him. Yeah. So, um, that's been the challenge. So, but I, I've, I've been wanting to get him on here for a while. Because uh, he's got some Australia stuff he wants to talk about. Yeah. Uh, paranormal stuff. But yeah, huge shout out. Huge yeah, he's, shout out. he's an awesome guy. Yep. Um, like you said, always sharing our stuff and just just awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've been meaning uh, meaning and meaning to plug. He's got a podcast too, the Truth Tank Podcast. Awesome, awesome podcast. Please go check that out. Um, I'm trying to think the latest episode. I just I just finished it too. Um God, my mind is utter trash. So we'll have to come back to that while I uh, pull it up because I, and my mind is garbage right now. But my like mind said, is garbage too. So I, I've had it's, such it's, a, a long week, and but it's it's funny. This uh, the podcast that he just well he didn't release it. It's been out for a while. It's just it's just taken me this long to like get to all of it. Um, it's the Boeing, the Boeing airplane whistleblower stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I I didn't know a lot about, and so he kind of breaks down the whole thing because I don't know if anyone knows. This kind of gets into a little bit of conspiracy. Shout out to him for, um, bringing this up to my attention. So, I guess two of the whistleblowers. Did you know this? Two of the whistleblowers for Boeing involved in the Boeing stuff. You know the with Boeing, all the stuff that's been happening recently with their airplanes. 
Two yeah. of the people that did the whistleblowing or whatever are dead. Really? Dead. Yep. Both of them uh, also happen to be working for the same, not working, but um, had the same lawyer as well. Dang. Which cannot be coincidental, just like the Truth Tank said in his podcast. He's saying that like that could just be like a clash action lawsuit. You know, that kind of happens sometimes. So like that's not necessarily crazy. The crazy fact is they both died. <laughs> <laughs> you know so i was like that's real i say that's something i didn't know so big shout out to him yeah um yeah super it took me forever to to uh actually get to that episode but i wanted to give him a good plug for that so so i've been trying to find some photos here and i'm not having much luck actually what i do have a couple articles here the I have britney one about britney spears and kanye west i could at least pull up if you okay. want to look at them yeah. uh let me just uh do the share screen thing but i have to uh do something real quick hey man let me whoever i mean the the kanye west thing is the one that really gets me right because i mean the dude's always been kind of little a little out there right like a little not a yeah. little but a lot out there but the thing that's so weird right is he said, I think I think it was on Rogan, he said something to the effect of, if I disappear and I come back, it may not be me. Like he's saying that, you know, he may be replaced, right? Yeah. That's okay, can looking. you see this? Yeah, I was looking at it a minute ago. So the thing this is... is the, you know, yeah. This is the article that kind of started it all, right? I think so, yeah. If you look 11, at him, 11 months ago. Yep. If you look at him and yeah, the, <laughs> is that, is this the new him? That's the new him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could, I could, t I could see that. Okay. Like it doesn't look like him at all. Like right. really doesn't look like him. And the thing is the first few months, like he disappeared or went off the radar. I don't want to say disappeared, went off the radar. And when he came back, he like, his face was covered like all the time. Like he would. Yeah. I, I saw that. I saw that in a lot of these uh, photos. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, then I, I don't know. Then he thought he grew this like really nasty looking beard out. Mm -hmm. And it, I, he wears like grills like constantly now, which makes me think of, you know, maybe cause Connie has like a distinct, like on his lower uh, teeth, like right here on the, in, I guess in Sazer. First of mm -hmm. whatever that is right there. Um, he's got like a little gap. And okay. I'm thinking maybe he's wearing those grills to kind of, you know, cover up where, you know, his teeth may be different. But yeah, it's, I definitely don't think it's the same person here. I found, I found a good picture. Let me. Uh, yeah. Do you know how to do that? I can just do I, present. You can do oh. present and then um, you can select entire screen the just the, the window itself or whatever. Okay. And then you could have. Uh, so let me, I'm going to pull up two pictures of Kanye, like a before and after, I guess. Um, I'm trying to find one that his face is kind of in the same you know, like position. Is, yeah, same position. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just so weird to me because, okay, so he, you know, he said, I don't know, you know, I'm not questioning his faith or anything or his, you know, walk with God. But he said that he, you know, was a Christian and he, mm -hmm. you know, was having all these church services and stuff. Well, lately he's been like say, saying he's the Messiah and like all this other like wild stuff, like just crazy off unhinged stuff. Which, I mean, Connie, you know, can be unhinged at times, but this is even more unhinged than normal. <laughs> yeah. Like, is this before or after he went on Rogan and said he wanted to buy the whole earth? Oh, this is, this is after that. Okay. That's normal, that's normal Kanye crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cause I, I, I've seen that clip and I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. That's, that's normal. Crazy thing. Uh, so, <clears> yeah, all right, here. let's, let's see it. A good picture. All right. Um, um, let me open it in, in a tab. You're going to show us real, real Kanye first. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Open image. Um, give me a second, guys. I know this is great. This is riveting content right now. 
for some reason won't let me open this image. Uh, do you have it on your screen? Just do uh, do it on the web browser. Yeah, I'm I'm opening up, trying to get it open like large. So I have it in, in the web browser. It's, it's weird. It's not okay. I'm just gonna open up this Google where I was searching the images, and I'll just do that live. Okay, present. Um, share screen. Share screen, and I'm going to share. Um, is it this one? Nope, not that one. Why is it window? Okay, here we go. Share. Boom. Is it up? Oh, it's in the. It's in the. Um. I'm sorry. I gotta. That's yeah, you gotta, Here we go. Okay. So here's Kanye. This is a Kanye we know, and you know some people may love, some people may not, right? Mm -hmm. So um, this is this is the the new Kanye, the new Kanye, the new Kanye doesn't really look like the old Kanye. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. This guy and this guy. I mean, they, they have similarities, but not really, you know. So here's yeah. another picture of new Kanye. Um, I just don't know what to think. Yeah, he does look a lot different. I mean, either he's aged very dramatically in a short amount of time. Because it just... You know what I mean? Just he definitely. I mean, he's a weird dude anyway, but still, uh, it is weird though, because he does look a lot different. Yeah, but this and is. I'm not, I don't follow Kanye all that much. Yeah, when he was but I, like I said, the the covering the face thing is weird. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, but he is a weird guy, you know. So it's mm, it's tough. It is tough, but I mean, it's it doesn't seem like the same person, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this? I mean, like I said, I don't. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know Kanye. But yeah, just... those watching, uh, watching or listening to this, if you obviously follow Kanye West and you maybe know about this conspiracy already, let us know what you guys think because it's definitely interesting. I mean, he definitely does look a lot different. Yeah, there's this one time he was wearing this like complete like all black like even his whole head was covered mm, mm -hmm, his, mm -hmm. oh, here's another this is another weird one he just like look he just looks weird yeah just, what is yeah. doesn't look right you know yeah I don't, that's strange i just don't know like yeah i mean he's such a, he's such a weird guy anyway so it's just yeah so difficult. I don't know, man. It is weird, though. I will. I will say that. I'll uh, inconclusive, but definitely weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Definitely weird. But that's that's just one of the things that I don't know. I've been looking at recently, and just wondering. You know, I, I like to you know go down these rabbit holes because celebrities are so interesting. Anyways, mm -hmm. their lives. I mean, I've been looking into the whole. Uh, you know selling their soul for fame that's that's a big big one and um gosh that rabbit hole is so deep i mean there's so many celebrities that jokingly say that or something you know on air they're like oh yeah i sold my soul like really nonchalant and then there's ones you know that say like oh yeah i, I drink blood and all this other weird stuff and it's just it's just very strange. Um, I don't see how how someone could do that, but you know, I mean, I guess if you want fame, then I mean, that's the easiest way to get it. I mean, if you, if you listen to Joel's story, Joel has a sim similar story um, where he was, uh, you know, seeking fame and seeking down the wrong path to get it. Um, it, it was on a earlier episode of the confessionals um you guys can look it up but it's it's very interesting like he goes deep on it on what happened what you know what he went through so yeah, it's it's pretty crazy man yeah that is that is wild it reminds me of that uh what's that place called in california where they have like the ritual thing that 
for the longest time people didn't know about? Oh, the Bohemian Grove. Yes, yes. I I saw someone had recently got in there and did a video there, and uh, they whizzed on the altar. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh. I, I just wonder how that's going for them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it's going. Yeah, to yeah, I don't know. You just wonder. Um, yeah, because that's that's always like a, a one of those things that people claim about Hollywood, is especially, you know, that to get to the inner circle, you got to do some uh, weird, messed up things, and you know, there's all these rumors and stuff. And the same thing with Washington D.C. or any of those type of places. Same thing, you know. We've even on the confessionals, you've heard a couple stories about, you know, whether it's the 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 party in the middle of the desert uh, in the yeah. California one, or it's the the people in D.C., the party, the guy that went to a D.C., you know, and like uh, both all those stories, both have elements of uh, people trying to get power and willing to do absolutely anything uh, to yeah. get that power. So, yes, it's it's gosh, it's so crazy. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know about Washington, D.C., about how it's laid out in a pentagram, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah, everything there, well, at least the old original structures are very intentionally placed. Mm -hmm. All of the monuments, like every, like it was meticulously uh, thought out. Uh, most of them, I believe it was designed by a lot of Freemasons, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, another weird structure, you know, that I know a lot of people have been wanting us to talk about is um, the Denver airport. Um, yes, yes. So so strange, not strange thing, ironic thing is, so I, I don't really like to fly, right? But my new job is going to um, consist of some travel. And uh, one of the first places I'm going is uh, Denver. So I'll be getting to see the Denver airport port firsthand. And you guys, I will be taking a lot of pictures and we will definitely be having an episode about that whenever I get back. <laughs> yeah, because that, that's that's what the rumor is about that place, that there's all these other levels there. It's like the way it's designed, there's like a secret base under there or something or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's definitely interesting. Makes you wonder, though. I mean, it is is it it's in Denver proper, right? So it's in this it's like literally a mile high up too, right? Yep. Yep. Hmm. And you know, that's I mean, it's right there next to um, what is that NORAD and all that is right there, yeah, sure, the military yeah. bases, and yeah, yeah. I would not be surprised if there's an underground military base or underground something or other down there for sure, yeah, definitely. Uh, oh. Laura, Laura's been chiming in, she did say hello in the beginning there, as well as Tinfoil Wizard Cryptid Master, don't want to leave him out as well. Well, Laura said, there is a song uh, by Panic at the Disco called Lava Devotee, I guess. He talks about L.A. and swim pools and the desert sky equals portals. Interesting. Oh, because we were talking about the, the L.A. Uh, desert and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. So it's, it's very funny because, you know, as we're recording... Um, <laughs> Brooks uh, from Smokey's Unforgotten Paranormal hmm. um, or Unforgotten Spirits. I said paranormal. He just messaged me and asked me a question about the black eyed kids and what I thought about them. That I thought that was very interesting. Um, so I may address it now. So I can just tell him to tune into YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. The black eyed kids phenomenon was such a weird thing. Because it seems like, at least to me, the time period of the Black Eyed Kids seemed to be anywhere from 2006 till 2015, 2016, maybe 2017 at the latest. Yeah. After that, you just you'd never hear those reports anymore at yeah. all, at yeah. all. So what's going on there? So well, I, have, I have a couple thoughts, but I want to hear you what you think about that, because it is true, because I remember back in the day, especially around 10, 11, 12, like those stories were popping off like crazy people calling in at all these shows. Every time you turn around, there's another black eyed kid story. And then now it's like you don't hear anything about them. Kind of like the clown thing around that same time period where all these people just started. Yeah. 
dressing up as clowns in the woods for no reason. And yeah, then, like, it's, like, what is going on? You know what I mean? Very, very weird. Anyway. Yeah, that clown thing was was really crazy. <laughs> I don't know. that I don't know what's up with that. But the Black Eyed Kids, I, I really, really believe in the Black Eyed Kids thing. Um, just because, I mean, there's there's so many accounts out there that are very credible. Um, people, you know, that like these kids try to get in their car and, you know, try to come in their house. And apparently, I think there's some ring camera footage of a supposed black eyed kid. Um, maybe, maybe it was a house camera or something that caught, caught one looking in a window or something like, like that. But yeah, I think, I think they're more akin to vampires than like aliens. Because, mm. you know, the whole lore of vampires or even like a, a demonic in a demonic entity, but you know, the whole lore of vampires, you know, you have to be invited in. You can't just enter someone's house. And that's that's the one thing that, you know, they ask. They're trying to get invited into your house or into your car. Um, and I think it's so weird, man. Um, sure. But, I mean, I, even I think spirits and demonic entities, I think they have to be invited in. I think that's one of the big the big rules of anything like that. Um, so it's uh, it's very strange. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's may i think there's way more to it than we know um i think maybe the i don't know i think i just i mean i think the vampires <laughs> i really do uh, you know like not even i mean i believe that there are people who drink blood and they're like legit like blood drinking vampires but i think these may be even more like a psychic vampire you know someone who feeds off emotion and the the fear that you know whenever they come in the house the fear that they um just give people um but i mean i don't could you imagine like kids showing up to your house with like solid black eyes and like let us in you know i mean i don't that's like the no hell no absolutely not. no that's creepy can i use your phone let yeah. me in. Don't look at my eyes. They're okay. They're normal eyes. Just let me in. <laughs> yeah. No, that's no, that's absolutely terrifying. Um, I do have a story my uncle told me that's like a lot like a black eyed kid story, but without children and an old lady instead. Really? Yeah. So it's the story are is still the same. She's at the door, at the screen door, trying to like get inside the house, like pulling at the screen door. It's locked. And uh my aunt answers the door and this is that haunted house that they lived in in onset uh, by the way so she's pulling at the door and she's like excuse me because i can I help you she's like i want to come into your house and she's like no you can't come in here and she's like no i want to come into your house and uh and so she gets she goes to get my her husband my uncle and he comes to the door and, and the, the lady like looks up at him and she just says the same thing i want to come in and her eyes are all black just like the black eyed kids in the story and so then she, they say no, obviously, that she can't come in. She, like, wanders around in front of the house. And then she gives this, like, stereotypical witch laugh, like you would hear in a movie or anything like that. Um, and, um, yeah, that's what that's exactly what happened. And they never saw her again. Gosh, that is so crazy. Yeah, isn't that weird? And, you know, the first encounter of Black Eyed Kids was, it was in Texas, I believe. Hey, hey, hey Brooks made it um in texas and so there's a, a reporter actually of all things who was in his car and he said that you know some kids came up to him and was, was asking for money for to go see a movie and the the reporter was like it's you know it's kind of weird because it's late at night and you know there's you see three kids and they want to go to a movie theater and they're asking money and he said he asked asked them where their parents were or something like that to that effect and they're like, oh, can you, do you think you can give us a ride home or can we use your phone or something like that? And uh, he said whenever, you know, he, I think rolled down the window or something, he saw, you know, the kids had, you know, solid black eyes. That was the first encounter. Um, well, at least the first, inter yeah. <laughs> first encounter that um, was written about. And that was in 1998, it looks yeah. like Brooks, Brooks is saying. So 1998. 
Yeah, that is very, very strange. Like I said, and like I said, the when's the last report you heard? Um, it was recently, like I want to say within the past couple of years. Really? Uh, I haven't heard any reports in years, years. It's one of those things I remember people talking about all the time. Kind of like um the hat man or like Slender Man for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's these like ebbs and flows within this uh, with this kind of stuff, especially the hat man. The hat man is a strange phenomenon because that's one of those ones. I believe that one person saw the hat man describes it. And then all of a sudden other people are seeing it. Yeah. That, yeah. that kind of a thing. So like with something like that, is that just our minds doing that? You know what I mean? Creating this entity out of thin air. Do you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the slender man thing. The slender man thing was created out of thin air. You know, someone made up the story online and then, the the story if i remember correctly the story goes on these girls started having these uh demonic attacks because of this entity that they made up so obviously with something like that the slender man wasn't a thing some other entity just took the persona of the slender man and was able to wreak havoc if this is true anyway wreak havoc yeah. in these girls lives um so yeah I, I, with those things it just makes you wonder what's really going on with that stuff with yeah. black eyed kids as well yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. you know, it's like, I don't know. Is it is it is it just demonic entities using whatever is popular at the time? I mean, it could be. I don't know. Um, I do. I'll come back to Hatman in one second. I was going to say the black eyed kids. The most recent one I remember was the ring, the ring door footage. Mm -hmm. uh, um, a supposed black eyed kid. Um, or maybe it was from a. a it was either from the door or from a camera that was inside the house. And you see this entity like looking in the window and has saw the black eyes. Mm. But that's a, the most recent one that I've heard of. Um, now to circle back to the, the, you know, hat man phenomenon. So whenever I was a oh gosh, maybe 14, 15 years old, I think, um, I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw uh, a hat man at the bottom of my bed. And this is before, you know, before podcasts and um, the internet was, you know, in the very early stages. Um, we had AOL, dial, good old dial up. So, um, but mine was different. Mine was not a black figure, it was a solid white figure. Oh, like weird. A glowing hat man. So it was it was different, but yeah, I, I have seen one, and it was definitely before all this um, hat man mania, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Did you? How would you describe that experience? A positive one or a negative one? Um, I didn't. Throw, I wasn't afraid. I like mm -hmm. woke up, I saw it, and then I laid back down with to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So neutral, at, neutral yeah. or positive at best. Uh, neutral at best, positive, possibly. But, but yeah, uh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, but I coughed it up to my grandfather, like spirit, mm. visiting me because he was known to wear like a fedora. And oh, I, okay, sure. I asked my mom about it, you know, I, and so yeah, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Makes you wonder. Yeah. So the other thing that you know, like the Slender Man, and um. What else is there? There's the rake and all those entities. It started out as creepy pastas that are, you know, more like, I guess, in reality now, um, possibly, is, you know, that whole um, tulpas or they call them thought forms. It's just when, like, so many people believe in one thing that, you know, they manifest it. Mm -hmm. they create that, it yeah. yeah that that could be a possibility for stuff like that yeah well, like i said a, a demonic entity or something using that persona and yeah. taking something that someone else has created and making something out of it yeah um you know I, I could definitely see that especially since it's already a known thing that children would be afraid of or, or adults or anybody would be afraid of especially if it's like known um in the the social you know not social media but like pop culture that sort of thing you know like I could definitely see that being a possibility. And the very fact that it's, it changes within every 10 or 15 years, it changes to something else. I think that's an interesting aspect Yeah, that you can't uh, not think about and be like, Hmm, that makes you wonder, you know, are a lot of these entities just particularly one entity, you know, pretending to be 
many different entities, you know. It could be. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder for sure. Uh, but we do have uh, Tinfoil that did bring up a couple things that I think are interesting uh, and another made-up type thing, which people definitely talk about. Um, I don't know what SCP means, but I do know what the backrooms is. Yeah. You've heard of the backrooms too, right? Yes. yes. Um, for those people who don't know what the backrooms are, um, how would you describe the backrooms? It's like uh, the backrooms to the reality, I guess you would call it. Like, you know, you get stuck in this basement level kind of a world where you can't find your way back and it's just like endless 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 and uh sometimes there's monsters down there and sometimes yeah, you like know, it's... all white walls and just yes. like hallways yeah, with yeah i could yeah, yeah that's exactly it i could probably google a picture real quick of the back rooms yeah it's 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 so crazy my my son was talking about it the other day and i don't know what to make of it um what he was talking about but he said something about the back rooms and i don't know if, if i think it may be um part of a video game now but it is a video game now yeah here i'm gonna bring up some pictures of the back rooms um so just it's exactly what you think so it's literally just like an office looking building kind of thing you know sometimes there's this creature here that you see um like a robot looking thing but it's just these endless, endless office type hallways. Um, and I've seen some of them that have like water, some that don't. Um, yeah, and so they did make it into a video game though. But it is it is creepy, it's interesting. Um, but it makes you wonder, like, where where do people get the idea for something like that? You know, yeah. is this based on any reality? And just the very fact that they think of this stuff, the back rooms and stuff, will this make something like the back rooms here's what i was talking about like water stuff yeah you know just kind of like abstract kind of like strange kind of stuff um but yeah that's just to give you a general idea of what back rooms are um yeah so i find the back room stuff fascinating myself i think it's weird and interesting um now if i ever ended up in a back room it'd be terrifying <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh but i mean i don't think they are real but um uh, I don't know, well, man. So um, let's 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 don't get away from this real quick. Um, yeah, go ahead. So the the back rooms and stuff like that. I mean, they have to come from somewhere. I mean, yeah, someone could just imagine it. You know, um, imagination is a huge thing. But we were. I was talking to Tony. Excuse me. And the things about like Narnia. And you know the stuff J.R.R. Tolkien wrote about Middle Earth. It's almost like, um, you know, other realms. You know, like portals going to other places, and you know things can come through, vice versa. Like you know, you see the, you know, in Narnia, there's a, a wardrobe that's a doorway to another world, and you know, in um, the Tolkien world, it, it doesn't really talk about you know portals per se. But there are there is this like, you know, the elves, they get on this boat and they go off into their own like their own world. And, you know, they disappear. And um, I can't remember what that's called. But, yeah, it's it's I mean, may, these people that are writing these things may actually be seeing this or visiting another world and bringing this information back. I mean, it's just I don't know, it's mind blowing, you know, to think about stuff like this. I mean, you, it's, I mean, gosh, you could do a whole episode just on that, you know? Yeah. looks like you might have a future episode too. Yeah. And before we get away from the back rooms, I just wanted to get this comment out there. Uh, the SCP-096 is a pale man that if you see a video or picture of him, he will chase you and kill you. And I guess that is part of the back rooms. All right. Yeah. Interesting. The back rooms is interesting. Um, the video game does seem kind of cool, although I just don't have time to play video games anymore. Yeah. I um, the backroom that. pictures are real, but there are no monsters, though. Ooh, tinfoil is like, I think they're real. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot, to get this comment back up, a lot of the backroom pictures just look like an uh, any typical old school office. So at some point, these backroom pictures, I mean, some of them could be real. If like, imagine if you went to an abandoned office and you saw something that looked kind of like the back rooms, 
Yeah. You take, you take a quick video there, you edit it together, or you take a quick photo there. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely interesting for sure. Yeah. It makes me think of like, I don't know, abandoned places. Cause you know, they're like endless hallways of like, mm-hmm. especially like hospitals. You'll yeah. see hallways with doors and, you know, usually it's white unless, mm-hmm. you know, unless it's really abandoned and then it's, you know, overgrown and gross looking, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It makes you what's go- what's uh makes you wonder what's going on with the back rooms. That's for sure. Yeah. I think they're portals. Portals to uh, yeah to uh, to other dimensions and other places. Yeah, like it's a in between place, you know, that you get into, and then these doorways and hallways lead to other other places. Not a bad theory. Not a bad theory. Tinfoil says they are proven. They were proven real. Really, at least m- most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, definitely interesting. Hey, if you guys got proof out there, the back rooms are real, please send it in. I would love to see it because I do find it interesting and fascinating regardless. Yeah. You know, it kind of brings you back to the Matrix. Yeah, definitely. Well, like the, the key master guy, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it with the hallways and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly it. Yeah. Which, yeah, like I said, true. you know, it's, I mean, they they had some wild ideas. The uh, Rakowski, I guess, sisters now yeah um we won't get into that that's not the show we're having yeah not not the show yeah (laughs) um but yeah so it's i mean they i mean had some radical ideas that no one's ever thought about from those matrix movies you know i mean it's they're awesome i I love the matrix movies Um, i love the first one and then they kind of get like worse and worse as they go along I, i still like them i think they're good do you my favorite my least favorite scene of all time you probably agree is the zion dancing scene <laughs> why do we need that no i don't know <laughs> dude that was it's i was watched the matrix recently with nicole and like we're watching the scene and i'm like why is this in here why like I, <laughs> what's the point of the scene uh it's just so odd but yeah well that's um, the 90s is yeah, late 90s too. a lot of like techno stuff really heavily influenced Oh yeah. Think back yeah. to other movies in that that sort of genre. You have the the Blade movies and they just have random techno scene also. But Blade, you know, goes in there and kills a bunch of vampires, which is which is pretty cool. Um but yeah, I mean, there's other movies I can't think of offhand that has like these random rave scenes and stuff, you know. Right. Blade, I think Blade one and two had these like big rave scenes. Yeah, yeah, both of both both of those movies do have elements of that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why, but very very strange. Uh, do you want to still talk about the Britney Spears? You want to close the show with that? I, <laughs> we, I mean, we're on a good flow right now. I mean, I, I, I mean, the Britney Spears thing I was going to talk about, I think, is fake. Um, so you don't think Britney Spears has been replaced? Um, I mean, she may be replaced. I'm not saying that, but the the story I saw where they had found the real Britney Spears that was, uh, that came out as fake. I did some digging after I told you about it. And yeah. Oh, so, so just to, for argument's sake, is it this one? Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. It was on Instagram. I saw like uh, a free Britney 2.0. Why Britney Spears came a lightning rod for conspiracy theories. So, and then this includes all the, the, the yeah. crazy videos and stuff. Um, but yeah. This was an interesting article to read. Kind of goes into the, all the detail about all of the the dancing video is what really kicked this off with, with the knives. Yes. Yeah, yes. that was weird. Um, but it says uh, we can see Brittany dancing on Instagram is a fake. Um, so yeah, so super interesting the Britney Spears stuff. Or um, is like it? A, that? Yeah, or yeah, or is it that kind of like I said that kind of kicked off all of that um, that stuff. Hey, we got a comment. Oh. Here. <laughs> I don't know. This is very disrespectful. Nice, nice hat. hat. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Representing the merch, the Merc merch. Yeah, yeah, but so Britney Spears. I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, why? She, does she drive you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, why would they take an, a, you know, a has been and replace her you know i mean you think maybe you know like the thing with kanye i mean that's you know 
I mean, he's not like in the face of the media much, but he's still really well known. I mean, kids nowadays could care less about Britney Spears, honestly. The only yeah. people that care about her is, you know, like our generation. Mm. But Kanye's more still more relevant um, just because, you know, of, I guess, who he is, you know. Yeah, I would say the most interesting about Britney Spears is like the custody stuff. And that's probably where all this kind of stuff, this conspiracy stuff starts with her. Because like a lot of that stuff is weird. You know, the very fact she couldn't make her own decisions and stuff. You're like, what is going on here? And then, you know, obviously that video doesn't help. And so the one with the dancing one that we were talking about before. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Britney Spears has always been weird. I mean, I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only one that remembers her shaving her head. Oh, yeah. I back in like 05, 06, whatever that was. So, like, you know, she's been known to have like a mental break here or there every now and again. So the very fact, you know what I mean? It's like nothing would surprise me with her. So um, I don't think she's been replaced. But um, I just think it's an interesting, uh, interesting story, especially that angle of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah definitely definitely interesting i mean there's like i went hard down the rabbit hole whenever um that movie came out they cloned tyrone mm, mm -hmm. with jamie fox and yeah fox oh the jamie fox one too that's that was another yeah. one that was another one that's right i forgot that about was, that, one. that one was very interesting um you know because <laughs> i mean what a coincidence you know you disappear and then um you know you have a movie about cloning and then um you come back as like the superhero guy you know because <laughs> he was like he was disappeared and they said he was like on his deathbed and then all yeah. of a sudden he shows up and he like <clears throat> rescues his lady's purse yep he's doing backflips yeah doing back i mean it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> and then in like a week uh, later he was sick again yeah because you're like what the hell's going on i yeah. know it's so bizarre it was very weird. Were, were you the one that was convinced that he got replaced? Were we yeah. talking about this? Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, the death that was definitely weird, though. I mean, he he didn't help it either. No. You know what I mean? He didn't help the fact that people thought that, you know? Kind of like leaned into it. I still think he's been replaced. And <sighs> Joel had a really good theory. We were talking about it. Um, you know, like why celebrities get, like, tattoos on their face and stuff. It's because, like, if they get replaced, it's harder to, you know, get the exact tattoo correct on someone's face. Yeah. Um, and the the example is like the Post Malone thing, because Post Malone said, you know, he he disappeared for a while too, and he he was he's big into conspiracies also. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Yeah, he also doesn't look good either. No, he look he looks like he's on some serious drugs. I don't know what he's on. But I've seen it. I'm sure everyone's seen that clip of him talking to the person outside or whatever it is. Like, yeah, man. It's like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what is happening to this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Um, but, yeah, I, I seriously think that there are some celebrities that are clones, like legit. Um, I mean, I don't know. And, and, like, who knows? I mean, Taylor Swift, she could be a clone. I mean, she's, I know she's all into like the dark arts. Now the Taylor Swift one is interesting. Cause there's, I've heard a couple things on that. I've heard the one that people think Taylor Swift is the lady from the eighties or whatever, the Satanist yep. lady. I've yep. seen that one. And That's then I've seen a new one where there's, Oh my God, I'm forgetting the daughter. It's the daughter of somebody. Daughter of Anton LaVey. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Looks just like Taylor Swift. Yep. Yeah. So, so that, um, that's interesting. That's what I'm saying is maybe it's not Taylor Swift is not like her because I mean she'd be like pretty old now. In, yeah, there's in no like, way. There's no way she's that lady from the 80s. It's just unless she's drinking blood, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna get kicked off YouTube. Uh, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> you could uh, take it from our dead cold hands, right, Jason? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so. I mean, she could be a clone or, I mean, even like a child of, of her, you know, I mean, mm. but I mean, you know, they, and, and it, and it, or it could just be a coincidence that they look alike. You know what I mean? No it coincidence, just, Phil. Well, there, well, there are, well, there are that, how many doppelgangers do they say are per person? It do, isn't there like a number that they say there's at least 15 people that look just like you? 
Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the one I was. Oh, man. Anne Hathaway and her husband. Dude, do you know this one? No. Do oh, they look alike? No. Look it up right now and put it on the screen. Anne Hathaway and her husband look like William Shakespeare and his wife, whose name was also Anne Hathaway. It'll blow your mind, dude. That is the crazy. Seriously. Husband. Um... Anne Hathaway and husband look like William Shakespeare. Yeah. I'll probably dude. find the photo here. Yeah, I got it right here. All Should right. Be... Just give me two right. seconds. Let me see if I can get a bigger version of this. Riveting, riveting radio. Oh, dude, don't worry about this. I'm so fast at this now. All right, guys, pulling it right up for you right now. Now here comes Anne Hathaway and the husband. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I could definitely see, especially the top one. I could definitely see the resemblance. Yeah. In the, the most. <laughs> I know the bottom one is eh. not so not so much, but I mean the very fact they had the same name is strange. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just like people what people say history does repeat itself. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. So yeah, I mean that's definitely weird. He looks a lot like him. I will say that. Yep. And yeah, I mean that's interesting. I mean, if we if you know going down this rabbit hole, there's the um, gosh, there's so many pictures of people who they. Who look like celebrities mm. like it's it's crazy like from like the 1800s and stuff oh like, yeah or or have you even seen like the uh the photos of like oh this is the grandson of this world war ii vet, a great grandson of this world war ii vet or something and they they look identical yeah have you seen those before those I are not seen striking them. yeah like even that kind of stuff i think is crazy that like generations apart you know because of the way dna works and stuff like that certain characteristics and stuff will like win out and then you know three generations down the person looks exactly the same as that you know what i mean that's crazy yeah. but i mean it does happen so uh but yeah they did i had, did hear that somewhere about the doppelgangers like there's i don't i forget how many people look yeah. like you but there's at least a minimum of x amount of people that look just like you and i'm talking to you out there whoever you are me yeah you talking to me yep no one, no one there's looks like Dude, there's six other Jasons no just like you. Looks like this. <laughs> they it's definitely. I, how much? Yeah, I swear to God, there's a guy literally just came across the stream and is seeing you do that. He's like, "Oh my God, I look just like this guy." Tony said that uh, Dave Chappelle's a clone for sure. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. I mean, he he went away. He's one of those guys that that left and went away for a while and then came back. You know. Yeah, but he at least he, at least he's seems the same his voice is almost the same you know i mean i don't know i mean but you know the thing about Chappelle is i mean maybe when he because he when he came back he did a lot of stuff that was really controversial you know um maybe they cloned him after that they're like dude you're no we're taking you out <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe maybe yeah possibly um yeah, I just, I'll, every time I think of Chappelle, I just think about um, the Bob Saget movie. Um, God, now I can't remember. Not that's not even Bob Saget movie. I'm sorry, Bob Saget's in the movie. Um, Bob Saget made Dirty Work at the same time. Yeah. Um, what's What's the? Uh, how am I forgetting the name of the movie? I know what you're talking about. It. Uh, man. It's a classic movie. Jim Jim Brewer is in it. It's yeah. about it's obviously about smoking weed and all that stuff, but it's not that movie? it's not like super high me or anything like that. It's something what is that movie? How are we forgetting this movie? <laughs> that is insane. Everyone knows this movie. It's so funny. But apparently me and you right now, but I don't know. <laughs> the dog, they have that Rottweiler and the Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know we could describe the whole movie, but not the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah dude i love that movie so yeah jerry garcia in the bottle at the yeah. end yeah 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 and the uh, um it just it's a classic scene they're in the they're trying to like prosecute him or something and yeah. they're like where are you from he's like i'm from jamaica <laughs> what part of jamaica down near the beach <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, what's that movie gosh is i got it right here half-baked Half baked, yeah. Half baked, half baked. Nineteen ninety eight. Half baked. Classic. Yeah, absolutely. Such a oh. great, great movie. 
Jim B. I love that. that. Jim, yeah, Jim, Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Dude, Jim Brewer. He's one of those guys that he's been, um, you know, talking a lot of truth stuff too. Like he's, he, I don't know if you watch some of his, his stand up and he's, he's been on some shows and he, he really uh, kind of goes deep. But a lot of these guys, a lot, I mean, a lot of celebrities are coming forward and, you know, dropping some, uh, some bombs about, about what really goes on, you know, it's like Cat Stevens. He's been doing that too. Yeah, Cat, didn't Cat Stevens leave the country? I th- maybe I don't know. He I, like uh, he, what is it called when you leave the country? Oh, uh, and, you come, and you don't come back. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure he did. Like he became the next Pat, I guess is that what? Yeah, called? or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He like forsake the United States or something like that. This is a long time ago, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he like changed his name and everything. He changed his name to like some Arabic name or something. Oh really? I didn't know I, that. At least I think so. Dave Chappelle do that too. Who? Dave Chappelle didn't he? He left the country, but he came back. Yeah, um, he went to he went to Africa. Yeah. Um, to like find himself or something like that. Or did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yep. Cat Stevens, now known as uh, Yusef Islam, <laughs> British singer, songwriter, musician. Uh, da 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 da. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. I yeah, maybe I might be wrong about him. Maybe he was a UK citizen. But I know he I thought he had changed his name, but maybe he did not. Maybe he goes by Cat Stevens now again. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, uh, you, I need to go down this rabbit hole about Dave Chappelle though. I'm gonna be looking that up like for sure. Cause I mean, all like I said, all this it's just fascinating, like what all these celebrities do you know to get to where they're at i mean a lot of a lot of dark stuff you know i thought you were going to say it's just amazing what these celebrities do on a daily basis you know what do they do i don't know do? i don't know they're... <laughs> i want to see them shopping i want to see them buying groceries i want to see them doing normal things how do yeah. we know these people are real they're probably not real yeah there could be just a figment of our imagination it's all it's all just things. all ai just purely in movies just you know so they just yeah. they did they've just messed with the algorithm. I'm just trying to see if we get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean we may yeah. may get kicked off. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. We talked enough about drinking blood tonight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's bring it back. Yes, the Huckamuck Swamp is crazy. Tinfoil Wizard, please let me know how you like the uh, the the month of madness so far in the huckamuck swamp going every single day he's been there almost every single day watching me go to the huckamuck swamp so did you know um i almost got tony kicked off youtube once for what it was me him and jack we did this um remember the plane episode the the malaysian plane yeah when you had the guy on with the footage right yeah yeah they had Um, the guy on the footage and uh we did like kind of like a post-mortem you know talking about that episode and um, I may have said something about a, um, a disease that went around for a little while. And oh. Tony's like, Shh, you can't say that. Well, Shh. kind of like last week when you gave yeah. a lot of praise to uh, to say, Satanism or say, Satan. What did you say? They're overall great people, even though they murder people. Is that what you said about them? No, I, I was trying not to get a curse put on myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can I understand that. I understand and that. Satanism's really bad. You know, it's probably the worst religion ever. And there's like, well, maybe the people aren't so bad. <laughs> well, I don't I don't I've never met them. How do I know they're bad? <laughs> um, uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a no, we Laura, we did not get I don't we think we got no. we did not get any hate mail from no that. hate mail. No hate mail from that. I covered our bases right before the hate mail came in. <laughs> he did he did cover his bases. <laughs> It, both sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he was he was doing damage control. Like I said last week, it was like he was falling down and grabbing the curtains as he was falling down. Well, that, you did the bad thing. You said, Jason, um, I'll be right back. Just take it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hold on. I got to look this up. <laughs> <laughs> but they're nice people. Yep, that is true. <laughs> and Laura is dying. <laughs> Yeah, Laura, thanks for coming on last week. That was that was awesome. 
No, that was a fun episode. Yeah, huge shout out to Laura from Midnight in the Mountains for coming on uh, with us last week, for sure. Please check out her podcast as well. She was awesome. Uh, and Tinfoil wanted to know a fact about... I could tell you. I'll tell you one fact about Puck Wedgies because I've talked about Puck Wedgies a lot. But one fact about Puck Wedgies is they can reappear and disappear at will, which makes them absolutely deadly. Is that your phone blowing up? Because I yeah. can hear it vibrating. It is, yep. It's just a, a buddy of ours uh, messaged me about a a clip. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jim Brewer. That's what it is. Okay. A Jim Brewer clip. Want me to play this? Sure. All right. It'll just be audio because I can't. Uh, I can't get it up. But anyway, here we go. And you two, did you fall out? Or did you just go different ways? No, no, no. We, we, I think different ways, but I'll put something out there that I don't know if he... We, he, he when we were, we were filming have we were filming a movie, and he also had a lot of pressure yeah. uh, from HBO, and, uh, or, or not HBO, Comedy Central. Comedy and all Central, shit, right? the worst bunch of people on Earth. Horrid. Mm-hmm. He then, while he was on the show... When it was blowing up, uh, and we were, we remember the Aspen Comedy Festival? I don't know yeah, that was fun. I did that too. He came there and he was freaked out. Yeah. I said, What's, what's going on? And all I could say is, He was visited. Yeah. That's oh, what I God. think too. And when he told me who visited him, I still, I, my heart stops for a second. Oh, I'm like, get the fuck. And I'll never forget. He went, you believe me, right? You believe me, Jim, right? And I could, I could, he's like, they came to me hmm. and he said the names. I'm like, get the fuck. And what happened? And then all of a sudden he went to Africa. Yeah. That's what I remember happening. But they, they never really said what happened. Were you threatened? I, mean, I don't know how much you want. I, I don't you have that. You can't. I guess okay. none of my business. Okay. But I know for a fact. He was corrected. He said. Correct. Yeah. He was. Hey. By whoever it was. Mm-hmm. Hey. Uh, I want to. We need to have a conversation. Um, would you like some of your own coffee in your house? What? Yeah. Like that heavy shit. And that's the first time. You know, I would. I would. I would. It's, yeah. it, it, and so when I saw him come back, um, it was a lot less communication. And maybe he just, you know, maybe he just grows, whatever. But I can honestly say, maybe I'm crazy for, and I am crazy for saying this. Mm-hmm. When I saw him completely come back, I really questioned if that was him. Yeah, I know, right? I think that's... And I know that's really crazy. I think those same things, yeah. I know that's crazy. Uh, Oh, it's no crazier than that. The trains are going off the rails. (laughs) I tell you what, these fucking boats are running in the bridges. (laughs) So, bitch, the goddamn fucking electricity went out. And, you know, let me get the... You know what? The black box over there. No beeps. I thought I had a beep on here. I can hit all the buttons except for the beep. Where's the beep? Nope. I don't know. I Is that a, did you know. it just say nope? I said no. I said no. I said no. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and then uh, Tinfoil was, I'm going to use that fact in my podcast. I'm uh, making, not coming anytime soon. I need a script and editing software. Yeah, if you want to know more about Puck Wedgies, um, I could probably give you a couple links to some information about Puck Wedgies for sure. But There it is. Nice. Where was that? Whenever all that custom was going on. Yeah, right. But um, no, I mean, interesting. Definitely interesting at the very least. But well, who do you think uh, by visited, who do you think he means? I took that as governmental. I think governmental or the like Hollywood elites. Sure. Like the people, you know, that no one talks about, you know, or like uh, the people, the, 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 the big wigs of Hollywood, meaning yeah. the people who make produce things and the 
network heads of this, that, and the other thing, those kind of people. Yeah. yeah. As the confessionals says, Hollywood high reps. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. The ones that run it. Yep. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Um, yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, definitely interesting. Hollywood higher ups may be one in the same as you know the people who are behind the scenes running everything else around the world. You know, that's true. That's true. Absolutely, you just never yeah. really know. Because I mean, all yeah. the you know, news is not one hundred percent factual, and you know, who knows if I mean, you know, think of all the production stuff that that we get on movies. You know, it looks really real. Now, I mean, you can't really tell from, you know, fake to what we're shown CGI and stuff. So, I mean, who knows what's going on around the world that we're, you know, being lied to about, you know? That's true. Unless you see it with your own eyes, but then sometimes you can't even trust your own eyes. Yeah. You know, well, then you kind of get into Project Blue uh, Blue Beam type, type of stuff, you know, where if they can manipulate things in the sky or the way things look. Well, because you can't even trust what's on your TV anymore, necessarily. No, um, just because even even things that aren't doctored can be cut to make people look a certain way. And you would never know that unless you saw the full clip. Yeah. You know, because I could me or you could cut any clip to make it make someone look worse than they are or make make them say something that they didn't say. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's weird. So on my screen just now a like box flashed up like a, a window like mm -hmm. open and closed like real fast like, pff, pff. really I don't know what that was about yeah but it was that was weird it sounds like you need a vpn my friend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that we have any vpns that sponsor us but i highly recommend a vpn for that very for that very reason i highly recommend um, a vpn to sponsor us that <laughs> would be incredible that would be incredible. I've already got a few ideas uh, for one of my podcasts. They are Creepy Dancing Lady Norway, UFO Puck Wedgies, and Helltown. That sounds incredible, Tinfoil. Dude. I love it. Hey, Tinfoil, Helltown, are you talking about the place in uh, Pennsylvania that's on fire? Centralia. Yeah, yeah Centralia. And then uh, Bedtime for the Old Guy. Good job, fellas. Thank you, Tony. I'm if older than is... you, dude. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And, and I am older than him as well. So I don't know why he said that. That's unbel unbelievable that he would say that. Because if he's old, then what are we? That's right. Oh, uh, Laura's coming in with some knowledge. Same thing as uh, oh, Ohio. as Ohio. Yeah. Interesting. They're both right. It is, I guess, Ohio. Interesting. I did not know about that. So I'm going to have to take a look at that. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. So I wonder... The Helltown, Ohio. I, I always thought it was the Centralia, but there's one that um, Silent Hill, the video game, is based off of. I believe that's Centralia. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um. Yeah. Is there? I think that's. Is there anything else you wanted to yeah, talk got, about? Or? Someone just joined us right here at the end, um, in the chat. Sup? There he is. <laughs> I'd like. I, I love that. Yeah, that's definitely uh, somebody new. So, yeah. Thank you for joining in, Sean. Appreciate it, bud. Yeah, man. Even though we're right here at the end, go back and watch it. Also, just to let you know, if this is the first time you're tuning in, we do this live on Sundays. And then also this episode will be coming out in podcast format on Thursday. And also Thursday, it'll be a normal YouTube video for you to watch. Awesome. Yeah, so, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of AFK Discussions. This has been an absolutely awesome episode. Like Jason said, please follow us on all social media platforms. Instagram has been a real pain in the ass recently. I know I just swore, yeah. but that's okay. But they have been a real pain in the ass. Dude. So please follow us on Instagram. Support us on Instagram. Write in the comments, this account is not fake. <laughs> yeah, so let me tell you guys. Instagram, I, I logged in and then said... <clears throat> Hey, it looks like you've had some fake people like posting on your Instagram. I guys, listen, I have been really horrible about posting on Instagram lately. I've been maybe posting like once a week, and Phil posted there a couple of times, and they're like, "Oh, look, what what is all this? This is ridiculous." I'm so mad right now because if you guys remember, 
I got banned from liking and um, following, following, yep, following all that and stuff. commenting yep. recently. And I just finally got out of Instagram jail. And now they're wanting to take it completely away. So I don't know what's going on. We don't really, we're not really that controversial. So I don't know why they're, why they're threatening us, but yeah. 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 So yeah, please support us over there. Make sure you guys follow us over there on Instagram. Um, for whatever reason, they're just being a real pain. So um, yeah. So please uh, support us over there. Let them know that we are not fake and we are real. So much appreciated. And we will see you guys. I'm going to be off next week, but Jason will be back here next week. I'll probably set up the live for him so you guys, he can go live and all that stuff. I'll show him how to do that. Um, so you guys can join us next week. We'll join Jason next week. Um, I'm sure Jason might have a guest. He'll probably have somebody with him, I'm sure. I will. I will yep. find somebody. Yep. And so it, as of right now, TBD. TBD. And we will be up oh, before we go. I got to say hi oh. to Richie. Hi and good night. See you, Richie. Banter with Richie B. We got to have Rich on here as well at some point. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Jason, you want to sh- uh, give a shout out to our sponsors one more time and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, guys, check out fattack.com for all your Bigfoot needs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just read Bigfoot. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So fattack is an awesome site. They have uh, gear for like, if you're a bigger dude and you want to get some body armor, right? Maybe you want to you know, have a chance if someone breaks in your ha- house to you know, defend your family. So, you know, you maybe need some body armor, which, is, you know, it could be a thing um, in the future because, you know, who knows where things are going. So, uh, yeah, go to fattack.com and they have sizes from small all the way up to, I think, 5X um, in plate carriers, which is awesome because, you know, if you're a big dude, you can't wear the normal size plate carriers. So yeah, they have holsters, they have belts, they have pretty much anything you need. They have, like I was saying earlier, they have sandals now. And, um, you know, maybe there are going to be some AFK discussion sandals coming soon. I'm going to have to talk to my boy and try to get them on the site. Also, you can get uh, AFK discussion shirts on there. If you go to their site and you go to influencers, we are on there with our t-shirts. So check it out. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Make sure you guys buy a t-shirt. And when you buy the t-shirt, take a picture or a video with you with the t-shirt on or holding the t-shirt up, whatever you want to do. And we will put it on the dreaded Instagram so they can just suck it. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Also, I want to let you know that I haven't talked to Phil about this, but I want to do another giveaway because we haven't done one in a while. Um, I did one maybe a year ago and I only had a few entries. But I'd like to do another T-shirt giveaway. So um, watch Instagram, follow like us over there, and um, I will be putting up um, maybe maybe the first of August. I'll be um, running a little contest, and maybe you could win a T-shirt. Awesome! Yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm sure everyone loves free merch. So make sure you guys uh, check it check that out. Awesome! Cool. That's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode of AFK Discussions. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace. Peace. Peace.